have with us head of the department biochemistry foundation medical college professor dr maryam wahid assalam alaikum ma'am wa alaikum assalam ma'am being um, teaching here for some time uh, tell us how did you find the students of batch that graduated in 2021 all right um i still uh, remember the day when we uh, first introduced ourselves to this batch and they were all um, very ambitious confident and uh, ready to face all the challenges and achieve their goals yes. you know student life is very hard it juggles between exams self assessment and many other things on every day so what happens is this batch had great passion dedication hope and love wow. and above all they are just love absolutely love and i congratulate them on becoming doctors and good luck for a successful life ahead thank you thank you ma'am thank you so much for your time we have brigadier professor dr tariq sarfraz with us he is fellow royal college of patholo fellow of royal college of retech retech okay We have Brigadier Professor Dr. Tariq Sarfraz with us. He is professor and head of Department Pathology, Foundation University Medical College, fellow of Royal College of Pathology, London, consultant histopathologist and his cytopathologist, and specialty uh, of cancer diagnosis. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Welcome. Wa alaikum assalam. Thank you very much. Sir, thank you for giving us the time. Sir, I would like to ask you, what is the significance of your specialty, and how will you motivate your student to opt uh, your profession as a career uh, thank you very much for uh, this time uh, actually my specialty is uh, related to cancer diagnosis and uh, all of you know that this is a very challenging subject uh, and it gives you a real satisfaction once you diagnose uh, a patient correctly and he is managed on right lines and he gets cured uh, well it's a uh, uh quite difficult and uh, i will say uh, uh, at the same time very rewarding also uh, because you know uh, the key in cancer diagnosis is the early diagnosis and uh, all our aim is mainly to diagnose the cancer early at early stage so that we could uh, uh, treat the patient and they should be cured right so uh as far as motivation to my students is concerned uh, you know uh, that uh, uh, this specialty is really liked by fourth year mbbs students because they are also coming to know that what is the significance of it and how they can contribute as a, a physicians team uh, in management of the patients and uh, i have made this uh, subject easy for them and they have i have noticed that many of them have developed interest in this subject and i am sure that they will pursue this specialty as their career in future no doubt sir thank you so much thank you sir uh now we have with us professor dr kiran farooq head of the department radiology uh, forji foundation hospital islamabad assalam alaikum ma'am wa alaikum assalam um ma'am there's a question for you uh, do you see many students taking up radiology as a speciality of their in their careers and why okay so uh, if you ask me this question when i was graduating uh, 20 years back i would have asked you what is radiology i mean what is the department because when we were studying there was a very little um, uh, emphasis on radiology we just had one ward and we used to skip it but now um, i can tell you with pride that uh, currently six of my post graduate trainees are from uh, fumc and two uh, and two have already passed their fcps exam so this is now a very in uh, speciality if you may ask me and why is that because number one ours is a modular system right so we have been teaching them radiology right from first year not as a radiologist but the anatomy part we tell the students uh the normal anatomy on x rays on ct scan so they have got a know how and in, when they come to the final year they have got regular wards with us and then secondly radiology is a very good field especially for girls because there are lots and lots of girls there are so many girls that i think that this speciality would be like gynae in future because very little boys so why is that because the timings are very flexible you can do work from home because when you have to report the x rays and ct you can do it from home so you can carry your family and your home along with your career so it's the it's the speciality of the future i can say thank you ma'am thank you're you welcome. very much you're for welcome. your time you're welcome dr kainat aftab is with us and she is the bright student of fumc assalam alaikum assalam alaikum 
What is the best thing of a few MC after spending five years here? What do you think? What is the best? I think I've made some great uh, friends here, and um, that's the best thing. <laughs> uh, over the time, I met some great people who I know will be by my side throughout my life. I think that's the best thing. Okay. And uh, what will you advise your juniors for the profession? I don't give advices, <laughs> but uh, as a suggestion, I would say just give you a hundred percent and then believe in Allah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we have Dr. Halima Sadia and her mother with us. So, Dr. Halima Sadia, we want to ask something about your experience in college. So, what was your experience in college during your stay? I had be best experience, Alhamdulillah, in regards of uh, friends, hostel life, college life, teachers, facilities here. Alhamdulillah, it was very good. So, what was the best thing of about FUMC, do you think? There are a lot of things, but I will say memories, my hostel family. And my college family, they were best. Or auntie, how do you feel now? Now, in the case of Baji Halima, who are going to graduate, what do you feel at this time? Alhamdulillah, thank you so much. 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 Thank you गोल्ड मेडल से और अल्लाह बीस का गोल्ड मेडल है अल्लाह का लाख लाख शुक्र है माशाल्लाह so, uh, uh, what advice you want to give your juniors? Uh, these five years are really hectic, but key to success is hard work, determination, and consistency. Okay, thank you, and congratulations. Chaveria Vahid, no, sorry, retic. Dr. Chaveria Vahid is with us. She is a proud student of Foundation University Medical College. First of all, thank you and welcome to the college. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, what is the best thing about FUMC? Um, I think the best thing about FUMC is the faculty and the administration here which you know uh, help students in each and every stage of their life whatever difficulties or bad things that happen to us they are always there to help us and also it is the uh, renowned, most renowned institute of the Twin Cities and, uh, and the thing that makes it the renowned and so famous is because of its institute, administration and faculty. Thank you. And what will you advise your juniors for the future? Uh, my advice for the juniors would be that uh, love what you do and then everything will, you know, become easy for you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Dr. I'm Ahmed Sagir with us, a bright student of Foundation University Medical College. He has recently joined Pakistan Military Ac Academy and undergoing training there. Assalamu alaikum and welcome. Thank you. Will you like to tell us about whether this institute has prepared you well for your future? Yes, of course. Um, when we were studying here, there was very less interaction with the students outside the FUMC. But going in PMA and interacting with the doctors, I think they have prepared us well. The method and the methodologies and the techniques they teach us, very least institutes try to inculcate these things in the individuals. And I am very proud to be a part of this institute. And what will you advise your juniors? I will advise the juniors one thing that uh, please make most of this five years enjoy most of your time and in these five years try to learn things uh, don't try to rattleize things because in the end you will just regret don't run after marks even if i am getting gold medals does not matter no one will ask you i am undergoing training there no one asked me whether i have medals or not but try to take interest in this because it's just not a job it's a service thank you heartiest congratulations on your graduation thank, thank you. you so much uh, we have with us head of the department, Community Medicine Foundation Medical College, Islamabad. Assalamu alaikum, ma'am. Wa alaikum assalam, Dr. Shaista. Welcome, ma'am. Uh, how do you, ma'am? I have a question for you. How do you see the role of the students, the medical, the doctors, the graduating from this college in our society? Uh, Dr. Shaista. Dr. Shaista, um, it's a very pertinent question on this day, auspicious day of convocation of our graduates of 2017 to 21 because um, I feel from the outset Foundation University has with uh, as our um, basic role of contributing to the society and from day one once we have our um, new freshmen are with us 
we focus on them realizing the importance of uh, the social problems and why they are here in the medical college and um, the issues of social and health problems in Pakistani society so that they are well aware of their own future role. And then we, over the years we, uh, we groom them uh, about uh, how they have to approach the human health, human life, human body and we teach them to treat a human being as a whole and not as a system. So that is how we incorporate into them by the time they, have, they are graduating from the final year. They are very well-groomed and well-rounded uh, social physicians so that uh, they know how to deal with the society. And uh, it is their um, health and social responsibility that um, we want them to have it. And we are proud of our students that that is how our alumni are actually being uh, identified all over the country as social physicians, as physicians with a view towards community and service. So uh, I'm, I feel proud to be a part of this university. And I feel proud that this is what is our aim. And our graduates are fulfilling that aim. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you for your time. We have Dr. Uh, Dua Rasool with us. She is the bride student of FUNC. Uh, Dua Rasool, we have a question from your college. How was your experience here? My experience was very good here as a student. Um, like my um, fourth year or final year, there are achievements hai, as compared to uh, the previous three years. Uh, second year, maybe I have won a gold medal in anatomy. Dusra uh, ye ki maine koshish ki final year mein zada uh, extracurricular activities pe bhi maine koshish karu. Usme bhi achievements leni koshish karu. Quiz mein perform kiya tha maine ek micro quiz tha international quiz. Aur usme third position thi meri. Aur final year mein ab aapke samne. Sahi sahi. To koi advice dena chahti hain aap bachon ko jo aapse juniors hain unko. एडवाइस मैं यही दूंगी कि मैंने एज ए स्टूडेंट जो है वो एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज़ में ज़्यादा परफॉर्म नहीं किया तो मैं ये एडवाइस दूंगी कि स्टडीज़ के साथ साथ जो है वो एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज़ पे भी तोज्जो दें चलिए सही है थैंक यू सो मच एंड कंग्रेजुलेशन ऑन ग्रेजुएटिंग थैंक यू वी हैव प्रोफेसर ब्रिगेडियर मुनी डॉक्टर मुनिर अकमल लोधी विद अस ही इज़ हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट पीडियाटिक्स फौजी फाउंडेशन हॉस्पिटल असलम एंड वेलकम सर थैंक यू वेरी मच वालेकुम Sir, being a senior faculty and experienced faculty member, member, what will you advise the students who are being graduated on uh, today? Okay. First, I would like to congratulate the new, newly inducted graduates that they are entering into new practical phase of their life. My advice to them is that the medical knowledge is fast evolving, so they should keep themselves abreast with the knowledge. They should be very empathetic and sincere uh, to their patients, and please don't forget. that all you have achieved is due to hard work and toiling of your parents and your teachers and always remember wherever you are working you belong to this country pakistan and you owe a lot to it thank you very much thank you sir on behalf of the college for giving us time thank, thank you so much
Do you want to
ठीक है ठीक है
I'm especially thankful to the chief guest for taking out some of his precious time out an extremely busy schedule to preside over this convocation. Sir, this shows the importance you give to the education of young generation. We are highly indebted to you. Foundation University was established to provide quality education as far with the need of modern times. The university aims at achieving the academic excellence by concerning by the efforts of students, faculty, and efficient managers. The university has been placed in category W4, the highest academic rating awarded by Higher Education Commission of Pakistan. Foundation University is ISO 9001-2008 Quality Management System certified by United Kingdom Accreditation Services. The School of Health of FUI now comprises of independent colleges for medical, dental, physiotherapy, and nursing education. The programs of study are accredited by Pakistan Medical and Dental Council, Higher Education Commission, and College of Physicians as in Pakistan. The Foundation University made a humble start in 2000 and has established itself as a notable institution of medical education in the country. After its recognition by Pakistan Medical and Dental Council in 2007, it has been enlisted in the World Directory of Medical Schools by WHO, which enables the students of this college to take licensing examinations like U.S. Embassy of North America and DAC in the United Kingdom to work and acquire postgraduate qualification in these countries. The college is housed in a purpose-built, well-designed complex with hostels for boys and girls located within the same premises. Faji Foundation Hospital, the teaching hospital of Foundation University Medical College, is co-located with, with the college and has a capacity of over 800 beds. The hospital is well equipped and staffed with highly qualified faculty providing quality healthcare faculty facilities to the patients beside imparting clinical training to the medical students. The MBBS program of FUMC is now well established and so far 17 batches of students have been graduated. The graduating student of today's ceremony was were admitted in 2017 and comprises 116 students. All of these have qualified over 96% marks in annual examination and remaining in supplementary for academic excellence. Seven graduates shall be awarded gold medals today while five will receive silver medals. Twenty graduates shall be awarded certificates of distinction for scoring 80% or more marks in various specialties, while 111 will be given merit certificates for scoring more than 75 to 79 percent marks. Alumni of FUMC are now spread all over the world and many have acquired postgraduate qualifications and now working as specialists. A large number of them have entered into postgraduate training program in Pakistan, UK and North America and other developed countries of the world. Their performance as professional doctors has been outstanding. FUI and FUMC are immensely proud of their dedication, passion and professionalism. Ladies and gentlemen, Foundation University Medical College is fully aware of new advancements taking place in the field of medical education and is taking all measures to keep pace with modern trends in the dissemination of knowledge. Conventional modalities of teaching, teaching have been replaced by integrated modular system commonly known as problem-based learning, which is more patient-oriented, student-centered and evidence-based. The students are exposed to clinical setting right from first year in clinical skill there through training on stimulators and medicines. Renowned professionals of different specialties are regularly invited from institutions of developed countries to, to, to deliver talk and share their experience with other faculty and students. Linkages are being developed with universities and colleges both within and outside the country. As far as research is concerned, this institute is committed to provide a research-oriented environment to the faculty and students. 
participation in research activity is mandatory part of undergraduate education. The Center of Clinical and Biomedical Research Center has been established at FUMC to promote and streamline the research activities in basic and clinical sciences. Within a few months since its inception, the center has undertaken more than 50 research projects in different specialties, out of which nine have been completed and are in publication. During the last two years, the faculty published 275 research papers in accredited journals, just for despite the hindrances posed by COVID epidemic. This reflects our determination to pursue the vision of becoming a leading university in the field of research. To facilitate our students and faculty in publishing their art research work, Foundation University Medical Journal is being published regularly. The third Young Scientist Research Conference is about to be held on 28th of September. This forum provides students an exclusive opportunity to present and share their research endeavors with the scientific community. The importance of medical education as a discipline is being increasingly recognized internationally. FUMC was one of the pioneer institutions in the country to establish an independent department of medical education. The department is playing a pivotal role in bringing teaching methodologies at par with the global standards. The department is running an advanced certification program in medical education which is well attended by faculty including those from the system and system institutions. Now I would like to address the new graduates of today's term. You are now entering the practical and real life which is full of challenges, responsibilities, risks and ambitions. You should set your goals and have dreams of your future life. Be a proud Pakistani because whatever we are today, it is because of Pakistan. Let your immense potentials and high moral be your guide. Have faith in your abilities and never lose sight of ethics. You must respect your parents and always seek, play, seek your prayers. For all your achievements are due to their sacrifices, persuasion and prayers. In the end, I once again extend my sincere gratitude to the Chief Guest for addressing this opinion, sir, and his presence. Allah Almighty may help us in developing FUMC, the Center of Excellence. And I thank you. Thank you, sir. I request Major General Imran Fazal, Hilal and Kiasnati retired, Director of Foundation University School of Health Sciences, to present the graduating students for of degrees to the worthy chancellor. These graduates who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degree of Bachelor of Medicine and Medical Bachelor. By virtue of quality message me, the Chancellor of the University, I have been to all of the degree grants and from the day of the present year to the degree and the prize to wear the world. Foundation University, I request you to award degree to the graduating students in absentia who have been duly qualified to receive the aforementioned degree. By virtue of authority vested in me as a chancellor of the university, I assume that all of the absentia to the degree to which they are entitled. Hilal Director Foundation University School of Health Sciences, to take both from the graduates. From the seats and raise their right hand up to shoulder level facing the palm outside. Both. As a member of medical profession, I strongly <laughs> pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. The health and well being of my patients will be my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patients. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. 
I will not permit consideration of age. I will not permit consideration of age. Disease or disability. Disease or disability. Creed, ethnic origin. Creed, ethnic origin. Gender, nationality, political affiliation. Gender, nationality, political affiliation. Race, gender orientation. Race, gender orientation. Social standing or any other factor. Social standing or any other factor. To intervene between my duty and my patients. I will respect the secrets that are confined in me, even after the, the patient has died. I will practice my profession with conscious, conscience and dignity in accordance with good medical practices. I will foster the honor and noble tradition of the medical profession. I will give to my teachers, colleagues, and the students the gratitude that is their due. I will share my knowledge for the benefit of patient and advancement of health care. I will attend to my own health, well-being and abilities in order to provide care of highest standard. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties even under threat. I make these promises solemnly, freely and upon my own. to present this quote to worthy chief guest for signatures. This is for Foundation University Islamabad to take the podium. I request Dr. General Muzaman Khan, Dalal Intiaz, Chancellor F. Floyd to award degrees and silver medals to the graduates. Rector and director are requested to allow me the I now invite students of MBBS to continue the proceedings and announce the names of graduating students who will receive their degrees, medals, and merit certificates from the chief guest. in surgery and a merit certificate in pediatrics, Dr. Dua Rasooli. Thank you. Dr. Harima Sadia. She has a gold medal and a merit certificate in medicine, an overall silver medal, a distinction in ops and gynae, a merit certificate in surgery, and a merit certificate in pediatrics. Dr. Harima Sadia.
Dr. Kainan Afta. She has a silver medal and a merit certificate in medicine, a distinction in arts and gynae, and a merit certificate in surgery. Dr. Kainan Afta. She has a silver medal and a distinction in arts and gynae, a distinction in surgery, and a merit certificate in pediatrics. Dr. Aisha Bakar. A 
merit certificate in arts and dining and a merit certificate in pediatrics, Dr. Khadija Ilaj. Dr. Edward Sagir Chima. He has a merit certificate in surgery, a merit certificate in arts and dining, and a merit certificate in pediatrics. She has a merit certificate in surgery and a merit certificate in ops and dining. Dr. Nawal Ali. <laughs> Dr. Osama Sajid Javed. He has a merit certificate in surgery, a merit certificate in ops and dining, and a merit certificate in pediatrics. He has a merit certificate in surgery and a merit certificate in pediatrics. Dr. Ahmed Tehseen Hussain. <laughs> Dr. Mahnoor Babur. She has a merit certificate in surgery. Dr. Mahnoor Babur. <laughs> Dr. Hamna Iftikhar. She has a merit certificate in surgery and a merit certificate in arts and dining. Dr. Hamna <laughs> Dr. Fatma Anwar Bhatti. She has a merit certificate in surgery. Dr. Fatma Anwar Bhatti. <laughs> Dr. Ali Khalid. She has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery. Dr. Ali Khalid. Dr. Muhammad Junaid, he has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery. Dr. Muhammad Junaid. <laughs> Dr. Kashmala Zia, he has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery and a merit certificate in Dr. Kashmala Zia. She has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery. Dr. Nazmi. Dr. Amna Iftikha. She has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery, a merit certificate in ops and gynae, and a merit certificate in pediatrics. Dr. Amna Dr. Muhammad Junaid Kadir. He has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery. Dr. Muhammad Junaid Khan. <laughs> Dr. Alishba Kainan. He has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery and a merit certificate in oxygen kindness. in pediatrics, Dr. Mariam Kamran. <laughs> Dr. Muhammad Zain Akhtar, he has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery. Dr. Muhammad Zain Akhtar. <laughs> Dr. Kurutulain, he has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery. Dr. Kurutulain. Dr. Ma Jabeen Azamkar. She has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery, a merit certificate in ops and dining, and a merit certificate in pediatrics. Dr. Ma Jabeen Azamkar. Dr. Ramla Adil. She has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery. Dr. Ramla Adil. Dr. Subhas Iqbal Bajwa, she has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery. Dr. Subhas Iqbal Bajwa. Dr. Muhammad Rehan Akbar, he has been awarded a merit certificate in surgery and a 
Gaden of Sinkai, Dr. Amna Islam. Dr. Sana Basim Abzal. He has been awarded a medal to the Gaden of Sinkai, Dr. Sana Basim Abzal. Dr. Aisha Aman Mee. She has been awarded a medal to the Gaden of Sinkai, Dr. Aisha Aman Mee. Dr. Fatma Fawad. She has been awarded a medal and in media, Dr. Fatma Fawad Jadiwa. Dr. Fariya Mansoor Ahmad. She has been awarded a medal to the KK Pediatrics. Dr. Fariya Mansoor Ahmad. Dr. Era Malik.
Grazie Enrico. Doctor Fatima Patel. 
Pero Dr. Huria Rafi. Dr. Ikra Azal. Dr. Ikra Tahir. Dr. Javeria Rizal Malik. Dr. Hansa Ahmed. Dr. Lare Rafi. Dr. Mahir Aslam. Dr. Mahnoor Ali. Dr. Maika Annan. Dr. Maria Hazel. Dr. Maria Sattar. Dr. Mariam Zahra. Dr. Maharaj Fatima. Dr. Mona Zaheer. Dr. Nurul and Farid Kiani. Dr. Pakiza Abzal. Dr. Kuradulay. Dr. Rania Aslam. Dr. Samreen Inayat. Dr. Shab Noor Ahmed Khan.
Dr. Shamza Khan. Dr. Tahreer Seher. Dr. Varad Aigam. Dr. Zahra Adnan. Dr. Zinan Aroj Sharif Malik. Dr. Doha Abzal. Dr. Ramsha Rao. Dr. Maryam Bashir. Dr. Malik Awab Heather. Dr. Amina Azhar Kiani. Dr. Aisha Irfan. Dr. Aisha Mizza. Dr. Fatima Tunzora. Dr. Hadia Yunus. Dr. Varisha Ahmed. Dr. Sayyidah Dua Fatima Bukhari. Dr. Tayyaba Shafiq. What? Dr. Hamza Akbar.
I feel deeply honored and nostalgic and the privilege to be with you all today. As I stand here and look back, I only see smiles and lots of beautiful memories and emotional connection that are shared with these walls. I feel extremely proud to be a part of this institute as this institute has made me a better person I am today. This institute has given me endless opportunities to shape my life and career. My dear graduates, for all of you, as you return the caps and gowns you wear wearing today and take your degrees home, <clears throat> remember this, this degree you received today is your insurance policy. This insurance policy is paid by your hard work and struggle over the past five years. So my dear graduates, do well wherever you go and in whatever you do, but stay connected with your home, your parent institute. As alumni is not just a reunion, but it provides a network for professional growth. It has the potential to bring great rewards and it's a way to keep our legacy going. At the end, I would like to extend <coughs> At the end, I would like to extend thanks to the teachers and administrative professionals that have made this university the prestigious institution of higher learning and epitome of excellence. This place has cultivated the sense of uplifting care and support among us. I humbly invite all of you to join the Forum of Illumini. I look forward to see how our resilience, our compassion and sense of community will lay the future, will, fail, will lay the foundation for further successes. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you. Chief Guest, Lieutenant General Hamoud Zaman Khan, Hilara Imtiaz Military, Retired, Secretary of Defense, Government of Pakistan, and Chancellor Foundation University Islamabad to address the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Major Khatid Al Abar Shah, Hilal Imtiaz Military, Director of Foundation University. Major Imran Fazal, Director of Foundation University School of Health Sciences and Principal FUFC. Faculty members, graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Islamabad. It is a matter of great pleasure for me to be present in this distinguished gathering of medical academia and scholars on the occasion of convocation ceremony of Foundation University Medical College. First of all, it is my pleasure to extend my cordial greetings to the graduating students of today's ceremony and wish them a great success in their future professional careers. <coughs> the distinguished graduates who have achieved academic laurels and have been awarded medals and certificates today deserve special appreciation. I would also like to share the delights of this moment with their proud parents and congratulate them on the success of their children. It is indeed a great moment in your lives when the dreams you had seen about the future of your children have realized. I am confident that with the knowledge and training acquired in this elite institution, these young graduates will be able to play a very formative role in resolving the health issues being faced by our nation. Right at this moment, we as a nation are passing through difficult times due to unprecedented rate, resulting in extended floods, which have affected the vast majority of our population. While the relief efforts are continuing throughout the country to minimize the misery of this calamity, a dreaded issue is the possible outbreak of various diseases that may occur in the coming days as an aftermath of floods. The medical fraternity, which is effectively playing its role in relief activities, will be required to shoulder an even bigger and central responsibility in this situation. The young and enthusiastic blood joining the mainstream of medical community today should participate in these efforts in a big way because of their vigor and determination. Ladies and gentlemen, I am extremely pleased to learn that Foundation University has evolved into a significant seat of learning within a short span of time. Expansion of academic programs in the field of dental sciences, rehab medicine and nursing sciences has further strengthened the role of this university in medical education. The Rector Foundation University and the principal of FPMC deserve special appreciation for their substantial contribution <laughs> to the 
or the cause of medical education in the country. No academic program can successfully achieve its objective without competence and devotion of the faculty. I am satisfied to note that the faculty of FUMC is highly qualified, having rich experience of teaching and research. Their devotion to duty is evident from the commendable performance of their students, not only in the university examinations, but also in the national licensing exam conducted by PMC and postgraduate exam both within Pakistan and abroad. I think a pause for them. <laughs> Pakistan is going through a difficult economic situation. The government, with the support of whole nation and the armed forces, is making concerted efforts to put the country back on the path of development. Austerity measures are being taken at all levels to reduce the expenses. The allocation of, for the defense in the budget of 2023 has been reduced in relation to the GDP of the country. In this scenario, a cost-effective approach to the treatment of diseases must be given new emphasis to ensure equitable distribution of resources to a maximum number of people. I hope that the young graduates will play their role in this regard to provide medical cover to larger segments of the population within the available resources. We all are aware of enormous pace of technological and scientific growth and development across the world. Bewildering developments are being witnessed in the fields of various sciences, including medicine. These developments are not only exciting, but also demanding. One finds it difficult to keep pace with this progress. It was reassuring for me to learn that a research output from this college has progressively increased over the previous years, and steps are being taken to gear up research activities in FUMC. In the prevailing situation, it is particularly imperative for the new graduates who are at the threshold of their professional careers to make full use of their talent in meeting this challenge. Before I conclude, I would like to communicate with the deep recipients of today's survey. Your performance in the examinations, as evident from the excellent results, is highly impressive. This speaks of the high standards of education and practical training in this college and your dedication to the studies. But remember, this achievement of yours is only the beginning of your future professional careers. There are tremendous opportunities awaiting those who have will and vigor to grab them. You must try to excel in your respective specialties by continuously remaining in the mainstream of knowledge. The graduates of this college are well placed both inside and outside the country. I am sure that your role as practicing doctors will help to reduce the sufferings of failing humanity. May Allah Almighty grant you the knowledge, wisdom and devotion required to fulfill your noble obligation to this nation and the mankind at large. And I thank you ladies and gentlemen of Pakistan. Thank you.